Well, we spent the night in Laramie at the Super Walmart. It's really nice. But, um, yeah, what an ordeal last night. Don't stop at the bunkhouse in Warden, or not Warden, Walden. <laughs> Felt like a prison. Um, public is not welcome there anymore. So I think I figured out though, they, in the summer when they hire seasonal workers, they live there and they pay to live there. Um, so I wonder if when I went there before it was the off season. So maybe in the off season you can get away with parking there. Uh, you probably can because no one's there. And they might actually rent it out to other people. Um, but um, in the, from Memorial Day to Labor Day, don't try it. But we will be in Nebraska today. We're going to go to Chimney Rock. Zoe's in the back sleeping right now. But um, I got to wake her up. So I stopped and got diesel. And they were out of pizza. The lady said they've been putting it out all day. I didn't want to wait. So I just got these two hot dogs. That one. Because I need some real food. But once I eat, I'll get some video outside. It's 95 degrees. Um, it's not too bad in here yet. And I've been parked here for 10 minutes. Um, but we're going to go to Chimney Rock next. So here's the Sinclair we stopped at. It's really nice inside. But they have... Um, nice parking here and that's Scott's Bluff and there's a giant Menards over there but it's 95 degrees out it's not too humid um, so it doesn't feel that bad but we're gonna head to Chimney Rock and um, check it out and that's the way we're going east So there's Chimney Rock. So driving here, the GoPro overheated again. What was that number four for the day? And it would not turn back on. So I missed the last five miles, but um, I stuck it in front of the AC vent, it's cooled off. So the visitor center um, costs money. It must not be part of the National Park Service, but um, they have a nice parking lot here. Oh, it's a historic site. And I was able to get rid of my trash finally in the trash bin. But it's hot, 97. There's a neat little campground that must have just opened down the road a mile. And they have ice cream and food, so I'm gonna stop there and check it out. That thundercloud, it's neat. I'm gonna actually turn the AC on and generator and sit here a bit maybe. Pretty neat. Never hiked out to the rock though yet, Jimmy Rock. But I will show you the campground down the road, most likely. Here's an awesome little campground. It's like a mile north of Chimney Rock, but you can see Chimney Rock. And they have a cool little bar set up here with chairs. I got my malt, vanilla bean malt. And they had no rain last year, only eight inches of snow. But look how cool this campground is. Definitely want to come back sometime. I mean, that view is awesome. They got little tables over here. Pretty neat. And a little store. They make um, mixed drinks and food. But um, yeah, this is neat. If it wasn't so hot, I might stay here. Wow, this is awesome. So I was inside the um, the little um, store there, a cafe, having two drinks, some type of whiskey and Diet Pepsi. And the guy was saying, you just dig three feet, four feet, and you hit water. It's not good for human consumption, but cows can drink it. That is neat. There's Chimney Rock. So, 
We'll come back. I'm gonna bring my chair out soon. Pretty awesome. Wow, they're full. We got two spots left. Well, maybe three. But um, there's a little store. And the campground. Definitely stay here. It's Pioneer Crossing, it's called. So this wagon is pretty neat. <laughs> so the guy that was working in the um, store in the morning, he made these hay bales and cut the grass and, or maybe he just baled it. To, I'm not sure how that works. But I think he said there's 40 of them and has a 40 year old John Deere tractor. No AC, open, you're sitting in the open air. <laughs> Guy's hardcore. He was awesome to sit and drink with though. He had a couple beers while he was working. And there's the RV. But the AC definitely worked. It, um, it cooled it off and it, it's feeling nice out now. But yeah, this, this campground is, I love it. Um, the little gift shop they have and ice cream and food. The pulled pork some people may bought looked really good. I would definitely stop here again. Oh wow, look at the thunderstorm clouds in the distance. That is neat. Wow. It's a big hay field. Jeez. And there's a train track over there somewhere. So trains go by every once in a while. But today was pretty awesome. So it's about an hour till sunset. And it's going to be really neat. So I'm going to sit outside. I might go see those cows. Some big cows. Wow, so these thunderstorms are all the way over in Wyoming. Fortunately, they won't get here. So I'm sitting in my chair and Zoe's at the door and she's not, <laughs> the door's open, but she's looking away from the door because I have the camera on her. Ooh, there's a mosquito trying to bite me. So they might have mosquitoes here. I'm gonna get some bug spray maybe. So they own all this land to the road way in the distance where the telephone poles are. I think it's 150 acres, he said. The cows. <laughs> uh, it'll be dark soon though. Oh, I love this view. Wow, so that sunset is awesome. I miss most of it, but it still looks neat. Oh, so the lights are on. That is awesome. And there's the cows. This is really neat. I love this campground. Oh, the sunset.
Well, I think that's it for the day. So I'm getting over the air and channels, which is awesome. Like, whenever that happens, it's nice because this has a high def antenna, the RV. And I was doing some work earlier. And Zoe, she's passed out in her kitty tower. Get her. <laughs> Zoe, can you say hi? Say hi to the camera. Look at the camera, Zoe. She's like, I don't want to look at the camera. Quit pointing the camera at me. <laughs> well, this is um, the end of day six. And this campsite, Pioneer Crossing, it's called. Um, at least that's what the, the um, entrance over the entrance says. I think on Google Maps it's called something like a trading post. But it's just uh, north of the Chimney Rock Visitor Center by like a mile or less. Um, definitely check it out if you're in the area. It is really cool. But um, I'm going to see if there's anything else on the TV and keep doing some work and call it a night. But um, thanks for watching. And tomorrow is day seven of the spring 2021 trip.